I said, we're working on our Daisy Model Car Design Challenge badge, um, but I personally think this is a really fun badge for um, people of all ages, so I hope that you all agree as well. This badge has three different steps to it, and today we are going to be completing the first two, and then I have an idea for how you can finish the third step at home. So our first step is to design and build a model car, and I'm going to walk you through that. Our second step is to test the friction of different surfaces, and we're going to learn a little bit more about what friction is, um, and then we're going to make some predictions or hypotheses, just like a scientist, and then our third step is we are going to race our cars. So that's the step that you all will do at home, but I do have some fun ideas for how you can do that. So. For our first step, we are going to brainstorm. We are going to think of the best way to build our car. So, in my little notebook here, um, I did some brainstorming. I'm a visual learner, so I drew some pictures and things like that. So, I don't know, this might be backwards for you guys, but I'm gonna tell you what's on it. So, I have my little notebook here that I was uh, brainstorming. So I have race car up here at the top, and then my question is, what do I need? So I need some sort of car body, I need wheels for my car, and then I need something to put the wheels on, otherwise known as an axle. So, since I'm designing this with things that I have around my house, um, a really important step of this for me was to walk around my house and see the different things that I might have. So um, my first thing that I knew that I needed was my axle or something to put the wheels on. And that was one that I wasn't quite sure what I would use. So I knew that I wanted to come up with that first. So I looked all around my house and I went into my kitchen and I noticed that I had these skewers for making kebabs. Um, so this is something that you guys might have in your home. Um, maybe you have a dowel rod. That would be another good thing to use for this. Um, something that you can put your wheels on. So I found some skewers and those are what I'm going to be attaching my wheels um, onto. So now that I had that out of the way, I felt like this second heart be to come up with ideas for wheels so I knew that I wanted something round um, so that it would spin if I had like a box or a shaped wheel that wouldn't turn very well um, so one thing that you can do to get ideas too is you can look at your own car see the different parts of it um, things like that so I had a couple different ideas. Um, I do have one of my model cars that I've already des designed. So um, I have these little beads um, and I knew that those would turn really well. So those are um, what I used next for um, my wheels. But I wanted to make two different cars so that I could race. So another idea that I had was to use these little cork pieces that I have in my craft bin. So um, I used these little, I cut these little cork pieces together. So I have my axle, I have my wheels, and the last thing I needed was a body for my car. So um, this is a part where you can get really, really creative with it. Um, you can cut up some cardboard, um, find different things. For mine, I just used some boxes that I had from some food that I've cooked in my pantry. So um, for the box that I'm going to be building with you all, I have one of my personal favorite foods, boxed macaroni and cheese. and. Um, so I am just using some of the boxes that I already have, like I said, um, but you can use cardboard and cut it up um, and do different designs. I thought it would be really cool to get creative and use your markers and crayons and um, really get creative and make your design look really cool. So. After I came up with all of my different um, pieces that I was going to use, I brainstormed some different design ideas. So I have some photos down here at the bottom. 
Um, so for my design ideas for the first one, I just have my cardboard box and then I have my skewers and then I have my beads at the end. And then the other one that I'm going to be designing with you all is down here. So again, I have my box, I have my little cork wheels, and then I have my skewers and I have one more piece that I'm going to talk to you all about because, um, I did a little bit of the scientific process on my own before this video started. So... Now that I did my brainstorming, I'm going to design my race car. So first I'll show you guys the one that I designed before this. So this is my wild rice race car. Um, so this one is an empty box and I um, used some tape and I taped my skewers to the back and then I put my beads on there and then I used some tape on the ends to hold it together. So. I'm hoping that this one will race pretty well. So that's my first car. And again, as part of this scientific process, we wanna test different things. So one thing that I wanted to test is if a car would work better if it was, if it was full. So my macaroni mobile is going to be made with a full box of macaroni. So one thing that I realized while I was kind of putting these things together is with my axle over here, the beads have a hole in the middle, so they will spin on their own. But for my macaroni mobile, um, I'm using these little cork pieces as my wheels. So my first idea was just, um, since my skewers are pointy, to kind of poke the skewers into the cork pieces and have that be my wheels. And then I was gonna tape this down. But as I started to do that, I realized that the wheels won't spin on their own. So I had to think of a way to kind of rectify that because it wouldn't go anywhere if I just taped it down like this. So then I had to go back to the drawing board and brainstorm some more ideas. And I realized in my kitchen, um, I have some reusable silicone straws. So I thought that I could put my skewer inside of my reusable straw and then tape this down and then the skewer would kind of rotate inside of it. So that is what I'm going to do. Now the one thing that you'll notice is my axle now is gonna be a lot bigger than my car. I don't wanna cut down my reusable straws because I do use these, but if you guys have plastic straws at home or something like that that you're using, if you run into a similar issue, um, you can cut those down. I just didn't wanna cut down my, my silicone straws because I do use these. So now I have my two wheels on the end, I have my axle, and then I have my straw, and look at that, it spins. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take my handy dandy tape and I am going to tape my little straw down to my car. I like to use two pieces just to make it a little bit more secure. So, sorry, this might be kind of boring watching me rip, rip tape, but that's okay. I'd love to know if you guys are following along at home, what some of the supplies that you're using are, um, or maybe if you're going to do this later on, um, what some supply ideas that you've come up with that you have are. So now I have my macaroni mobile, um, I have my straw, and then I have my wheels and my axle taped on there. So now we just have to do the same thing in the back. So I have my straw, my skewer part. So now I have my next piece put together and I'm just gonna tape it onto my box. Now a one part of the badge, or that's not a part of the badge steps, but I had to do at my house was create and design my own ramp to test my cars. So if we were doing this at a troop meeting, maybe my troop leader would have set up a ramp ahead of time. But since we're doing this at home, another part of our scientific process is that we have to design our own ramp. So I'll show you guys what I did to 